Welcome to the first edition of This Week in Cycling History. Jacobus Johannes Eden was born on October 19, 1873. He's the only male athlete to win both world championships in speed skating and in cycling. He actually won speed skating in 1893, 95, and 96. In cycling, he won in 1894 and 95. 94, he won with the 10K. In 95, he won with the sprint. On October 22nd of 1994, Tony Rominger beats the one-hour record held by Miguel and Durain at the time. Tony had a bad Tour de France earlier in the season and turned to the hour record since his fitness was improving. He actually had never ridden on a track before and crashed on his first attempt. He then became familiar with the fixed gear bike and piloted it to a record-breaking attempt with no cameras and very few people present. He would later improve upon his time on November 5th to solidify his record. It was estimated that he beat Indrain by such a large margin due to his body mass being smaller and less drag being created on the banks of the track. On the 20th of October, 1891, the first international six-day bike race at New York's Madison Square Garden begins. Initially, these races were a contest of raw endurance with a single rider completing as many laps as possible. At first, races were less than 24 hours a day. Riders slept at night and were free to join in the morning when they chose. Faster riders could start later than the slower ones who would sacrifice sleep to make up for the lack of pace. Quickly, riders began competing 24 hours a day, limited only by their ability to stay awake. The Brooklyn Daily Eagle said, The wear and tear upon their nerves and their muscles and the loss of sleep make them peevish and fretful. If their desires are not met with on the moment, they break forth with a stream of abuse. Nothing pleases them. These outbreaks do not trouble the trainers with experience, for they understand the condition the men are in. The condition included delusions and hallucinations. Riders wobbled and fell, but they were often well paid, especially since more people came to watch as their condition worsened. Promoters in New York paid Teddy Hale $5,000 when he won in 1896, and he won like a ghost, his face as white as a corpse, his eyes no longer visible because they retreated into his skull. The New York Times said in 1897, It is a fine thing that a man astride two wheels can, in a six-day race, distance a hound, horse, or a locomotive. It confirms the assumption, no longer much contested, that the human animal is superior to the other animals. But this undisputed thing is being said in too solemn and painful way at Madison Square Garden, an athletic contest in which participants go queer in their heads and strain their powers until their faces become hideous with tortures that rack them is not sport. It is brutality. Now this was not this week, but I thought it would be great to include it in our first edition of This Week in Cycling History. There's not much known about Isaac R. Johnson, and I cannot find an accurate photograph of him for his presentation, but... What we do know is from his patent on the 10th of October, 1899. This was not the first frame patent, but it was the first by an African-American and included folding hinges for the frame to be folded down to a smaller size for travel. It was very rare for an African-American to obtain a patent in this time period, so it was very impressive what Isaac R. Johnson accomplished. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, be sure to hit the like button down below, share it with any of your friends, uh, give me some feedback. What do you think about these videos on dealing with cycling and history and everything? I am a history teacher. I love cycling. So I was like, hey, let's put them together. So uh, just give me some feedback. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.